morning, day 18. And I'm up early on a Saturday morning because I have a contractor coming to the house this morning. So uh, I have to be up and get dressed really early. Anyway, here is today's tea, which we all know will be a duplicate, so who cares, right? But let's bring it up anyway. Um, yes, Slave Ride. Actually, we like this one a lot, if I remember correctly. Um, so, yep, duplicate. Woohoo! We all know that. That's that. So, let's look at 18 for Bon Lamon. And, oh, there it is right there. 18. This calendar is, is one of my favorites for the jelly, but not my favorite to open, as you all know, at this point. Uh, yet, be shine bright, it says. Well, maybe I will have to put some makeup on today. Ah. Yay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Cherry Christmas Spice Spread. Okay, this sounds cool. This sounds really good. All right, looking forward to trying it. Be back in a little bit. Okay, it's toast time. Mm -hmm. Toast time. Okay. Toast time. <laughs> uh, Phil said he agreed he wanted to taste it and then guess again. So, okay. showing the viewers again, don't look. Don't look, I just said. I'm not so looking. he looks. All I see is a light. I can't oh, it read it. It doesn't matter, I can't get it to work anyway. Go ahead. <laughs> Taste it and I'll tell you if it's okay. right. Okay. Well, it looks very dark. Like, hmm. Let me think. It tastes like cherry. Okay, you got, you got it. But anything else? I taste it too. I don't know. Hmm. Cherry and raspberry or something. You like it? Something else. I in like there. it. Mmm. It smells like a spiced apple. Oh boy. Got a good nose. It's called Cherry Christmas Spice Spread. Well, okay. So there's some spice of some kind in there. I didn't smell the Christmas part. <laughs> but we got spice. Yeah, it, it smells like a spiced apple. I like it. If I would have smelled it first, I'd have said apple, but the color's all wrong, so. No, well, good job. You win. I'm not okay. sure what the prize is, but get the toast. Finish my toast. <laughs> See you later. Okay, day 18, cat calendar, right on Santa's face. And look who's here, waiting to see what she's going to get. But unfortunately, she's not going to like it, because it's probably one of those fluffy things again. Yep. <laughs> here, Charlie, you want a bell? Here, play with the bell. Yeah, she has no interest in those damn things. You know what, I'm gonna get the cat in, but let's see if it takes, it takes a turn. All right, we're gonna try my theory here. I'm going to take the toy and put it in the catnip. I've done this before without the toy, so you shake it up. Oops, take a catnip everywhere. Oh, see, look who's here. Mama, catnip. Now, now that it's got catnip smell. Look, turtle, turtle, look. What do you think? Any better? Maybe not. <laughs> what do you think of that? What, what else do you, she sees the light. That's the problem, she sees the light. She's not interested. Oh man, these cats. Well, those toys are definitely a bust, but I'll keep trying. Maybe I'll get catnip spray and I'll spray them. Okay, up to the Rituals Advent Calendar. And number 18, which is over here. So let's see, Christmas magic. Do good for your skin and good will come your way with the shower scrub from the Ritual of Karma. Okay, all right, we've gotten a lot of shower foam from them. I do not believe we have a scrub from them, so this is something new from them, which is good. Get it open, there we go. This box did not want to be opened. Color blue. Um, yeah. So basically, it's, it's clay and white tea mild body scrub paste. So body, I love a body scrub, and I want to say it was the Yves Rocher um, small sample we got a little while ago. I tried that one. One thing about a body scrub, we'll find out if this one's the same. Um, if it's too I don't want to say watery, it's probably not the right word, but if it's not really a, th a thick a shower gel, or not shower gel, shower, shower scrub, when you put it on your hand and you go put it on your arm or whatever it happens to be, um, it slips off your hand. And I know I could be more careful, yeah, I get it. But if it's a thicker consistency, 
it like doesn't miss your arm and go onto the bathtub floor. <laughs> and you have stuff all over the bathtub. If, am I the only person that that happens to? So I always typically buy a, a, a really thick scrub. So hopefully this one is um, equally as wonderful. We'll see. Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Um, I tried a lot of the products uh, between last night and today. So you're gonna see a huge um, post on my Instagram with a lot of detail. Um, so uh, I'm trying to catch up on some of the products I haven't used yet. I actually washed my hair today with one of them, so you'll see that too. Um, so today's uh, Saturday and Bill and I are gonna plan to maybe go see some Christmas things, lights and stuff, and that's why I'm dressed today to go out and hopefully have a nice time today. Uh, but the picture of my dad today is a very uh, young dad. Um, I would say, you know, it's grade school at this point. And um, I look at that picture and I, and I figured it's the early 40s probably. And uh, it blows my mind sometimes to think about the fact that he experienced things like World War II and, you know, all those things that were happening, kind of like what we experienced when we're, you know, 9-11 and, and all these crazy things we, we've gone through. Um, so it's just interesting in the, in the time period he was in and the music, which I love the 40s music. So I always, I'm a little jealous that he grew up in that music era. Um, but it, it's a really cute picture, I thought. So I thought I'd put that one up today. Um, and uh, hopefully you enjoy opening advent calendars with me and Phil, and we will see you a little bit later. Let's start with Clarence today. Clarence, my favorite. Well, I don't know if it's my favorite, favorite but it feels like my favorite. Um, number 18. <laughs> blue, pretty blue. Hydra Essential. Moisturize and quenches silky cream. Normal to dry skin. I'm guessing a face cream. Um, yeah, it's gotta be. Anyway, so I don't know why I don't see the English version of this. <laughs> I got mine. It's pretty obvious it's face cream, but um, okay. Yet another face cream. Body shop party. And we're looking for number 18, which is right there. Okay, let's see their knowledge is today. Has a teacher, colleague, or friend inspired you? Let them know how much they make a difference and how much you appreciate them. Yeah, got a few people. Not teachers. I don't need teachers anymore, but uh, maybe a friend for sure. Um, I shall. Okay, looks like Advil. Okay. Oh, a barrette? <laughs> is that what it is? Yes, it is. It is. Oh, look real quick. It is a barrette. Okay. One says, oops, share joy. One says, spread love. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to try it and see what it looks like in my hair. I think I'm a little too old for these. I'm just going to be fair about that. Uh, I mean, I didn't even open this and just give it to somebody. Um, I just don't wear barrettes. It's not my thing, but, um, all right. Not a bad, not a bad thing. Just not for me. All right. Let's take a look at Kiehl's number 18, which has a pizza on it. Mm. I'll take the pizza. <laughs> all right. Ultimate strength hand salve for severe dryness. We apply the hands after washing. Okay, so this is good, especially when we were all, well, we still are washing our hands, I hope, but you know what I mean. In the very beginning of COVID, we were washing our hands so much, my hands were almost like cracked. Um, so yeah, this would have been great uh, for that. But also now the winter's here, almost here, might as well have this as well. Ultimate strength hand salve. I'm curious, because my hands are really dry today. Let's see what we have here. Feels good. Feels like hand cream. <laughs> Maybe it'll make my hands feel really super soft today. We'll see. But no smell. Oh, a little smell. Kind of medicinal, actually. Um, almost smells like it has mint in it or something. But or no, you know what it smells like? I don't want to say Vicks because that probably sounds not good. But it's almost got a menthol, like a menthol smell to it. Um, so yeah, so it's pretty good. But um, I'll add that to my hand salve slash balm slash cream collection. <laughs> hey, Yves Rocher, number 18, which is down here. There we go. All right, 
what with organic marigold from our fields for regenerated skin in 10 minutes. Hmm. Face cream? What do y'all think? Uh. <laughs> Sorry, there we go. Mask, regenerating balm mask. Oh, it's a mask. Okay, well, we always, I dig masks. I, I like all sorts of masks. So that's cool with organic marigold. All right, we'll give this one a shot on my next mask. Well, I think I have another one to try before this one. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, that's okay, though. Um, next time we do a mask, after the next one, we'll try this one. But I like the packaging. It's very pretty. All right, look fantastic. <laughs> Number 18. Oops. Sorry, camera. Oh, feels like a candle. I can just tell. <laughs> no, actually, it's not a candle. It felt like a candle. It is Christopher. I want to say Christopher Robin. <laughs> Egwini the Pooh. But it's Christoph Robin. Scrub Purifant. Levant Purifant. Cleansing Purifying Scrub. Whether it be for you. Okay, let me see. Hold on. Okay, directions. Here we go. Directions. Directions. Once a week, apply a tablespoon onto wet hair. Oh, wet hair! Massage, then emulsify. Rinse and follow with the purifying jelly. To jelly. Jelly. To, ta to tangle. Okay, this is a scrub for your hair. Weird. I've never had a scrub for my hair. It's got sea salt in it. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm a little curious. Uh oh, nope. We won't be putting this in my hair. It's got sulfates. All right. Well, that's interesting though. I don't know if I would have used it anyway, but that's something new, something different. Okay, glossy box time. And it's on the top. I checked earlier. So number 18. Okay, feels very light. Whoops! <laughs> Whatever it was, it's on the floor. Now, big box, tiny item. It's always funny when this happens, I think. Oh, here's that brand again. Elamasqua, which I'm probably saying wrong. Beyond Liquid Highlighter. Okay, why does that feel familiar? I know we had a llama squaw before. Two things, if I'm not mistaken, two different boxes that we got it from. But this highlighter sounds familiar. I'll have to look. But anyway, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure we got this ready. Uh, anyway, so llama squaw, we'll take a look and see and figure it out later. Okay, Luxiton number 18. It's right here. Oops. Good one today. Gel cream hair mask. Got a lot of hair things today. Um, okay, so it's a hair mask, so it's probably more like a conditioner. Express moisturizing shot formulated without silicones. Apply scalp in lengths and leave in for five minutes and rinse well. All right, well, I'll have to look double. I'm pretty sure, it, again, usually um, these don't have sulfates. I don't think it does, no. So I'll probably take a try on this. This is a gel cream hair mask. Try to give it a shot. Today for Sephora, we have a little tiny 18. I like how I can now pop those little things and pull them out. It's kind of funny. Oh, it's a little tiny thing. Oh, hello. Pink is the new chic. Never looked good in pink, even though I loved that movie when I was a kid, Pretty in Pink. Um, we'll see what kind of pink this is. Uh-oh, looks like, yep. Uh-oh, but <laughs> it looks like a nail polish. Color Sephora. Color hits. Let me see. Um, yeah, this looks like a nail polish for sure. Yep. Rose. Oh, it's called Rose Bouquet. I am definitely going to look back in the last couple of days and see, just double check everything when I'm all done and see what days we had roses. I'm just curious if I... If there was a full every day having something with rose in it, but I don't think there was. But anyway, there's a Sephora nail color. All right, last one, Christian Dior. Number 18 is over here in the corner pocket. All right. Yeah. <laughs> this 
one doesn't want to come out. It's stuck in there forever. There it goes. <laughs> now we've had this um, Herbidor brand, Capture Total or Total Super Potent Eye Serum. All right. Well, all right. We're going to be like an eye serum. We'll give it a try. It's got a unique little bottle here. I'm just, now I'm curious. How does that open? How do you open this bottle? Hold on. Or tube. Oh, that's really, you know what, I'm going to try later because my hand cream is not letting me open it right now. But it looks like you have to push it. Weird. Oh, I guess I'll find out a little later. Because it doesn't twist. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm not going to waste your time on that anymore. <laughs> Eye serum. We'll try it later. Let's start with the games calendar. Yep. Uh, number 18. We get today something different i hope no buttons no amplifiers no more lights well, it's a bigger the the amplifier was mentioned for the radio nothing for the game calendar wow this is a bigger door good maybe get something new uh but it it's has a, a light <laughs> a green led <laughs> oh lord well we need more leds there's more pins to be had on maybe, that maybe chip maybe when it's so. all done it'll make like a christmas tree or something maybe all right Number 18. Yes, video calendar. Number 18. WNBC. <laughs> Today's okay. countdown gives us. I'm dating myself. <laughs> WNBC. NBC. 66. 66. WNBC. This what is, is 104. What 104. Is that? Q104.3. Okay, what um, is that? It's a capacitor. <laughs> It is a one hundred and four, which is a one hundred nanofarad capacitor. Is that a capacitor turtle? She's thinking this. Which, yep, which stores a very, very tiny amount of electricity. All right, go build something. We'll see you in a minute. All right, what'd you make? All right, so electronically, this is identical to this one game we had yesterday, except that now these uh, yellow and red LEDs are all green because they give us another LED, and we had an extra LED. Okay. Um, the additional game that we're going to play today is called Reaction Game. This is another one that's hidden behind another game by holding a button. So as I put power on, I'm going to hold this button down. All right. And the point of this game is to try to stop it on the first light or the second light. Oh, too early. And I got the second light. There's only 0.2 seconds between each one, so it's pretty quick. Really hard to get the first one. one more that time. is hard. Yep. Ooh, wow, I timed it at the right time. Shouldn't have made a noise. Like, da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, if you get the first one, it just freezes it there. So. Oh, okay. What if and, you get the third one? What happened? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I went too late. Now it lights up that kind of thing. Like, yeah, you blew it. Oh well. <laughs> So anyway, that's I probably have to press it a lot of times to get the third one, but anyway. Very cool. All right. So the radio is less spectacular today, but that's on purpose. So this was the capacitor used to couple sound to the speaker before. It's kind of, sorry, I'll hold it down here, which is a big electrolytic capacitor. It allows everything except plain DC to go through it. Now there's this real tiny ceramic capacitor here, disc capacitor, and it only lets real, real high-pitched sounds through, but none of the lower sounds come through, and it's quieter. So, you know, if that quits making sound in the background, you might actually hear this. That's our Christmas clock. Yeah, I know. <laughs> here comes a turtle. All right, let me put the clamp on the battery thing. Oh, guys, hold on. Turtle. Battery thing turtle. Here's the monster with the ball. And she's got to get it. Show everybody how you, no, you don't want to show, all right, never mind. <laughs> she doesn't like when I put the camera on her. All right. Okay, sorry. All right, so we've got power. Let me turn my antenna a little bit. You can just barely hear it. You might have to put the phone close. You can just barely hear it. I can barely hear it. Yep. Now, I could put this back in in parallel to where it was Why yesterday. Why do you not want to hear the radio? There is a reason for that. That's how it sounded yesterday. That's like how it, it sounds that today. Um, this is a necessary part for the amplifier that's coming, which I hope is tomorrow because this is really boring. 
All but right. uh, anyway, that's that's it. Good job. All right, and I colored, and today's color was orange or orange, however you want to say it. So I have a little more orange in there. Santa's face is orange. I don't know why, but that's the total color they said to put there. There you go. Woohoo. All right, how about all the cheese calendar? Now we're doing this at lunch today because we're going out after lunch. So yep. this will be an earlier posting today. Um, so we're looking for 18, which is probably a duplicate anyway, so I don't care. Unless it's red, whatever it's called, Leicester. <laughs> Why don't we hope for red Leicester today? Ooh, red Leicester would be good. Maybe you see 18. Oh, there it is. 18. 18? That's a tiny deer. Can you open that one? All right, one? I can yeah. open that one. I hope it's red Leicester. Come on, red Leicester. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's got to be a duplicate. Give me a good one. Or not at all. <laughs> all right, I got it. Trying to work that. There, there you we go. go. <laughs> um, uh, mm, oh, what is it that? is jalapeno again. It is jalapeno gouda. Yes, we've had this before. Yep, it was good. It wasn't bad, but I really wanted it to be red blister. Better than the hot dog smelling mustard. Right, you open that, I'll get the wine. <laughs> yes, we're gonna have lunch wine. Who cares? <laughs> um, we'll buy some wine tonight too. When we go out. We're going out to dinner tonight. We're going to have a nice dinner. All right, so let's go to eighteen here. Yay, red. Yay, red. Yay, red. All right, today we have a Bordeaux. Ooh, I like a Bordeaux. Product of Fr a French Bordeaux. All right. All right, so Phil, go ahead and open these up for us. I'm trying to get the cheese. That's okay, open. and then we'll be right back. <laughs> Quiet. The cats are making. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. We're trying to drink some wine here. We had cats driving us crazy this afternoon. They know we're going to go out. They're like, oh, they're going out. Yeah. So they do. All right, so this is the red Bordeaux mm -hmm. from France. 2019. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It's got a little bite in the end. Mm -hmm. But it is good. Yeah, I like that. I'll try cheese. Yep. I know we had had this jalapeno cheese, but I'll say that. I, I still say that wine, that red we had two days ago. That one was Best. amazing. That was Yesterday's nice. was a step down. This one's a step up from yesterday. Cheese in bed. We had that already, though. Mm -hmm. You know what's going to happen, right? You were, you were just discussing this. The red Leicester won't be a duplicate. <laughs> yeah. Day 24. Oh, really? We really want that red Leicester cheese. Somewhere at the plant, they're like, ah, red Leicester is expensive. Just give them one of those. <laughs> just give them some more cheddar. <laughs> well, I'm hoping you guys are having a good weekend. This is posting early today because we're going out and having some fun. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.